What's up, guys? I know it's been a while. <laughs> it's been hard to get back into this, but I think I finally found it. Um, I saw this on Twitter, and I was like, yo, I have to make one. I have to make one. Just because, like, I've been wanting to do, like, a um, ranking of the Digimon games for a long, long time. So, I saw this, and I had to do it. So, so we got S tier is the best of the best. A tier is it was super great, but a few things could have made this like amazing. Um, B's is straight up okay. This is great. It's not terrible. It's not amazing. It was okay. C is kind of like wasn't that great, but I enjoyed it a little bit, you know. Um, and D is flat out terrible trash. We're we're just gonna do this first because. And there's a lot of uh, Game Boy Advance games that I never played because um, they they were not in my eyes they were not Digimon games so there was no need for me to even play them or comprehend these games or even mentioning them I'm like Digimon Racing like come on like who played <laughs> who actually played that and then they have Digimon Surviving here which is not even out yet so I can't really say anything about that we're gonna start off it's simple super easy Digimon Rumble Arena trash Digimon Rumble is the first one that. Straight trash, like I was saying. Digimon Rumble Arena was not a cool game. I'll give two a, a tiny bit because um, these were fighting games. They weren't like quote unquote Digimon games, so I, I just I'll just give it that as in like because this one was a pretty good. It was actually fun. I'm not gonna say good. It was fun. So in my eyes. I give I give that one that rank in there, but the, this one for the new one, nah, I know it was trash. Same with Digimon Racing, I never played it, but I know it was trash. Same thing with Battle Spirits. It's not like there was anything wrong with it. It just wasn't like, um, there just wasn't anything like to write home about. You know, it was just a, a, a poorly done fighting game on Game Boy Advance, and a lot of it just because the the software wasn't that great. So we're just gonna give it that rating. But anyway, we're gonna start simple and start off super easy. Digimon Masters Online. I said this countless times. It was at its core, it's it's amazing. It's it's super good, but. Game King, the way they run it, um, the whole odds, the, the the chance rate is just so terrible that makes this game unplayable. This is why the quote unquote blank server was so good in my eyes and what we needed because it fixed pretty much all the stuff we had problems with with DMO. Um, like these Game King is so terrible, it's so trash. They just did like a whole band wave and banned like a hundred people, like thousands of players. <laughs> they even got my channel deleted, so. Game King, I hate you. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna put DMO in that in that tier list because it was actually pretty good. It was just so many things wrong with it that made it um, unplayable. Um, and yeah, a fresh game that's fresh off my memory. It's Hacker's Memory. It's top tier. I don't want to hear what anybody has to say. Honestly, this 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 game, you couldn't ask for anything better. The story was great. The amount of Digimon we had was amazing. Um, it was just top tier like i can't honestly can't say anything bad about this game the only thing i wish they did was made uh the custom lobbies that people can actually watch who uh who you were battling because i thought that was that was just so you're just in a lobby and you can't even watch other people's battles so it was just kind of pointless um but the the in theory was there it was good but the whole execution of that was not that great in my um previous i can't even say previous videos because they don't exist anymore but in my last in my when i did a review of cyber sleuth the whole the biggest thing was um the replay value which is adding new digimon and what should be the story what can you do after that so there wasn't much of it but um if they just kept on with the online that game would have been perfect but in my eyes it was a top tier game nothing completely inherently wrong with it so let's go to the next one i'm actually gonna put uh the first one here not that there was anything wrong with it it's just i felt hacker's memory it should have been the game we got in the first place just plain and simple I felt like Hackers Army corrected a lot of things that was wrong with the first one. Um, and I'm not trying to take away from that. It's just like, did, we should have got this game first. We should have got that Hackers Memory first. Didn't have to be Hackers Memory, but all the elements that was in Hackers Memory, I felt like we should have got that. Hackers Memory felt like a more complete game. Cyber Sleuth just felt like uh, we were missing a few things. Um, but it was still great on the least. I played it um, in Japan, Japanese. <laughs> I played it in English. First of all, I played it on Vita. Okay, I played it on Vita in Japanese, and I played it in English again in Vita. And, uh, Vita. Got it on 
PS4 and then played it all over again. Then I got the Hacker's Memory version and played it all again because I wanted to do some other stuff. So I didn't beat that game like four times. So yeah, we'll, we'll move on. In the most controversial game of them all, and people probably gonna click off the video, but I don't care. I'm look, look, I'm doing it. I'm putting it right there. Look, forget your nostalgia. Forget all that. This game was not amazing. For the simple fact is, growing up, I obviously I, a lot of these older games I played as a kid, um, and they were hard. They just were not the easiest games to play. I played Spyro, I played Mega Man, I played all these other games, and I, all those games like they were hard, but like you can eventually get over it, you know. But this game, super hard. I seen speedruns, and all people did was get champions. They never even got ultimates, bro. Like from getting that poop thing, from dying every single time. Like this game was not easy. Even now, I would play it again. But since we have next order and all that stuff, I just don't even like. It's, I don't know. It's a cool. Like I said, it was cool. It wasn't. It wasn't terrible. It was cool. It just wasn't amazing, as most people put it out to to be. It just wasn't that amazing. I thought it was great but it was okay at best uh, even now a lot obviously a lot of it is stemming from my childhood trauma from playing this crap and i'm look, i'm gonna put the card game at c i i never like i tried it i never got into it because i'm not a huge fan of card games probably only played Yu Gi Oh. um but i feel like if i did play it, i'll probably put it at b uh, but like I said, I don't play card games, so I never got into it. I'm actually might get into the new Japanese game. It looks pretty interesting. So join the Discord if you're trying to get in that too. But the card game, I don't know. I'm gonna put it in C only because I've seen other people playing and it looks pretty interesting. And I feel like if I actually learned how to play, it will be alright game. Not that it's like terrible, 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 but it's like I could I could get I could play it and enjoy it a bit, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, let's move on. What's next? Ooh, Data Squad. Uh, uh, uh. I'm a, no, 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 no. I'm gonna put an A. Actually, I don't know. Um. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna I'm put it at A because hear me out, hear me out. The, this was the first game we got that actually followed the storyline, not storyline, but followed the anime. Um, all the previous Digimons was all random, like the gameplay was not following anything. They even changed a lot, like world from world one to two to three, like the whole system changed. So it was like almost every time a new game came out, it was different. This was actually the first one that was based off of uh, the, the series, which if you enjoyed the series like I did, it would have been super cool to see. Um, I didn't get super far in it because I kind of, once this came out, I kind of outgrew Digimon for a bit and I came back, obviously, what I'm going to talk about in, the, in one of the games. But um, I feel like if I went all the way, I'd probably put that S tier, but there's, there was some stuff that I didn't really enjoy, like the random battles. Like, you wouldn't even, like, you could just walk and go into a battle. I thought that was annoying, but other than that, like, yo, it was pretty cool. It was pretty great. Um, I love the whole Digivolving. I love the whole... The, um, the the line, I thought that was pretty cool, um, which all a lot of the elements from this game you see in Cyber Sleuth. Um, but yeah, I thought it was funny. There's nothing else to say. It was it was it was pretty great. A few things could have made it amazing. Um, here we go. We're about to get into some crucial, crucial, controversial games, and I know it. But I'm gonna go start with Ward Four. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't amazing. But it was high. I felt like at that point I was I was already like outgrowing it. There was so many other good games out too. I think at this time, well, we had like SmackDown vs. Raw. We had like even GTA was out this time. Like it's, it was hard to compete, man, with, with with the titles that came out when this came out. But yeah, I, I like I said, it wasn't amazing. It wasn't terrible. It was just like. Yeah, you know, it wasn't everyone's cup of tea. I know a lot of people didn't really like it, but honestly, I, th I thought it was pretty cool. I never got how far in this. I know you can get a mega, which looks super cool, but I never got that far. Um, I wish I did. Uh, but yeah, it was hard to play, but I feel like once you know what you're doing, you should be okay. And I would love to try it again, um, which is why I'm just going to put that B. It was it was high. It was high. You know what I'm saying? Um, and also, if you have a dolphin emulator, I don't know how how this works, but 
pretty much you can play online with the emulator i would love i would love to try this out with some people so if you're down let's try it out world two world two all right i think what i'm gonna do oh this is world three actually it, it's it's a it's a it's like it's in between which it was a, a in between okay and this was pretty good because I feel like you can go either way with this one. Um, I think when I was practicing, I put this at A. So I might, I'm gonna put that at, at A. Okay, because I, I remember playing this as a kid. It was so much fun actually. But what happened was I got far, I lost my memory card. I found my memory card, but the file got corrupted. So I had to start all over. But I was like, yo, I'm not starting over. I was adamant on that for like years. I never started over. So that's the only reason why it's not, I'm gonna leave it at A because I remember when I played it, I had so much fun. Even though I didn't know what the heck I was doing at the time, it was still fun. It was still enjoyable. Um, I love the battles. Um, I love the DNA. The, bio, the DNA Digivolve is super cool. So I'm gonna put that at A just for, for the DNA Digivolve. A little annoying with the battle system. Um, if you saw my uh, live stream I did yesterday, I'm actually going to start trying to play this gameplay. So, it should be pretty cool. Um, I did do a little bit of cheating, just so you know. Uh, but, hey, that's, that's another video for another time. World 2. I'm going to put it there for one reason. I think some people may like this game a lot. But, overall, I don't know, man. I do not know. And I'm going to put it at okay at best. It wasn't amazing. It wasn't completely terrible. But it had some moments. It was one of those things. Like, I, this one was a hard one, too. I actually hated it when I was a kid. But playing it when I'm, when I'm uh, older, um, I, f I could get into it. I feel like I could. Yeah, there's just a lot. There's a lot going on for, for me to put this at A tier, you know. Um, maybe. Maybe. I'm going to try it again. We might revisit this after I play all these games over again, which I'm planning on doing. Um, so this this is where we're at right now. So I'm just gonna keep it here. Maybe when we come back into the future, maybe we'll change it up. Um, next order, top tier. The reason why I didn't like, um, pretty much next order did was take everything that was wrong with Digimon World and made it a lot better. I played this on Vita in Japan. I played this in Japanese. Pretty cool, pretty fun. I got pretty far. And then when it came out for PS4, which was an English release, I don't think it came out in English in Japan. I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure it didn't. But anyway, the PlayStation 4 version was, was way harder than it was on Vita. So that was a little frustrating at first, but other than that, um, I got pretty far. I got I pretty much beat the game, but I wanted to, I would love to max out everything, which like max out my farms, my city, do all that stuff. I didn't get there yet, but it, I couldn't, there's nothing really to complain about it other than the roster, Digimon roster was a little little small, but other than that, like, yo, it was, it was fun. It was fun, I loved it. I played it like two or three times and I will play it again to this day. So that's why I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna redigitize, I'm gonna put it at, at A simply because it felt like a clone of Digimon World. Um, and another reason why I don't really feel like going back to play World is because we got games like this. I probably played like an hour's worth of this game. I didn't get super far because um, because I, I, I played this after playing Next Order. I didn't play Redigitize first, um, and but from what I can see, it was pretty good in the sense that I, I would like this. I know for a fact I would like Redigitize because I like Next Order a lot, and Redigitize resembles a lot of Next Order. So I'm saying I would like Next Order Redigitize if I played it, but I never got. I didn't get super far, but I did play it and I really did enjoy it. What is this Digimon Rumble? I can't even read the title, man. I think it's Digimon Battle. I don't remember liking this. I think I like two better, but I actually have a, had a gameplay um, on my channel playing that game, and j it was a Japanese uh, version. Um, it was okay for a couple seconds, but like I said, these Digimon fighting games are not the best. The best, like you probably may enjoyed it um, for a nostalgic reason, but other than that, um, no, I'm not. Yeah, they're terrible, all of them. Um, so, Dawn and Dust, this one's a little controversial because I never actually played these, and I'm gonna say I never played it, so I'm not gonna rank them. Um, but what I can tell you is, 
a lot of the elements from these games are in Cyber Sleuth. I think they have a actually a huge roster size that I remember, but I think Digivolve was pretty hard in that one. So I can't really, I can't really, I never played the DS games because I was never into Nintendo like that. So, and I'm pretty sure um, Championship and DS World kind of play the same. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments, which I know y'all probably will. But so I'm not gonna do these four DS games. But if I was to, I'll probably put dawn and dust at um and like i said this is hard because i've played these two games at top if i didn't play these two games at top we'll be having another conversation but i played these first so going back to play these old games after never playing them before it's gonna be hard to judge because so i'm not gonna do it but digimon survive never came out what game is this bro i think this is battle spirits okay this is the one i was looking for battle spirits which is the second version of this game which was trash <laughs> I wouldn't say trash trash but like it wasn't nothing to ride home about um and if you notice i kept the one and i saved it for last and what i'm gonna do is put it right above all of them this was the best digimon game ever made Shit just got real. don't add me <laughs> it's pretty funny because when this game came out i wasn't into digimon at all i actually I didn't even know they were still doing anything. This was a fully Japanese game, never had an English release. They have English translations, um, which I did end up using, but I played this game in full Japanese. I think in Japanese, then I found the English uh, translation after. So this game got me back into Digimon. This game is what started the whole thing with Cyber Sleuth. I would have never even known about Cyber Sleuth if I didn't play this because that game made me want to go figure out what was going on. And then I found Cyber Sleuth was coming and I felt like, yo, this game was like a prelude to that game, even though it didn't follow the storylines. But the way it played, it felt like, yo, this is uh, this is almost like a, a, a second version of this. So that's why I enjoyed this game so much, because I loved it. It was actually the first the we never had a game that followed the anime like this one data squad was like it wasn't like it followed the anime but it was based off it this one followed it to the t and it had some really cool side missions um the end game missions are freaking amazing um it's the only game that we have the all the first game we have all the megas um from all the season ones before we had cyber sleuth so in my eyes this game is amazing it was probably the best one ever made. If you haven't played it, you can't talk. I'm telling you right now. If you play this game, you're going to enjoy it. And people are going to be like, no, why would I want to play a game based off of anime? Because every other game that came out previously was never surrounded or based off anything. So that is why this one is my top tier list for Digimon games. Um, I'm going to drop a link in the um, comments. Um, to create your own i want to see what you guys got and post it in my uh discord so make sure you join the discord i'm gonna save this i'm gonna save this so i have it for future reference because i will do another one when i play every other game after this so i don't know how long that's gonna take but we'll see but thanks for watching comment down below actually i'm gonna drop the link i want to see what, what you guys top tier list are and post it in the discord so thanks for watching Deuces. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs>